Hello, in today's video, we're going to talk about two text functions in Power BI called as find and search. So as usual, let's go to the Microsoft documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement this with the help of an example. So here is the syntax and the definition. It returns the starting position of one text string within another text string. Find is case sensitive. So it takes four parameter, find text, within text, start number, and not found value. So if you look here, find text is the text which we are looking for. Within text, in our case, it will be the column reference, start number, the position from which you want to search for that particular text, and not found value is the alternate results. So let's go to the search function here. It returns the number of the character at which specific character or text string is first found reading left to right. Search is case insensitive and acts insensitive. So this is one of the main difference between the find and search. So find is case sensitive, but search is case insensitive but it's accent sensitive. So it takes four parameter, find text within text, start number and not found value. So find text is the text which we are looking for within text in this case, in our case, it will be column reference, start number, the position from which you want to start looking for that particular text string and not found values, the alternate results. So one of the advantages of search function is it, it allows you to do a wildcard search using question mark and asterisk. Let's go to the Power BI and then with the help of an example, let's see how we can use these functions. I have the sample data here. So the column name is called company name. And we have some uh, names of several companies here. So now let's start, start with find function. I'll call this as find example one. Find. Let's say I want to look for the word bike. We know that it's a case sensitive, so we need to give the exact text string here. So within text, the column name is company name. And then start position one. If I don't find anything, let me call, I'll give it as zero, hit enter. So now you can see we are getting the position of the this word, the starting position. So in this particular cell, I have a bike store. So the starting position of the word bike is three, one, two, three. So I'm getting the right results. So let's try to do the same thing with search. Call this as example one. Search example one is the function search. We know that it's case insensitive. So I can use a smaller letter here within text, company name, start position is the position from which you want to search for this particular text. So in this case, I'll use one. And if I don't find anything, zero. So as you can see here, I'm getting exactly the same results. Okay. Now let's try with search. Call this as example two here. Let's use a wildcard. I'll start with asterisk. And then I'll not enter the full name, full text. Instead of bike, I'll use asterisk IKE. And then within text. It's a column reference here, company name, start position from one. 
and alternate value is zero. So now you can see if there is a text like IKE, I'm getting one. If it's not available, then I'm getting zero. So now let's try with question mark. Example three equal to search. I'll use a question mark and then use IKE within text. In this case, the column reference here is company name. Start position one. If there is no value, then give me a zero. So now you can see here uh, the question mark is working as expected. So if there is a suitable match, something like ending with IKE, I'm getting the position of that particular word. So in this case, bike, right? It starts with the position of three. So it's working. So now we can also use search combined with if statement. So let's say I want to classify uh, the company name based on the words here, the text here. If it's a bike, if there is a word called bike, then I'll classify it as a, a bike store, else no. I can say, call this column as bike store example equal to, let's first use the search here. So let's use asterisk, IKE, and then within text, the company name, start position one, not one value is equal to zero. So now I should either get zero or one, right? Because if there is a suitable match here, I'm getting one, L zero. So now I can combine this with if statement, if equal to one, then it's a bike store, yes. Else, no, hit enter. As you can see here, whenever there is the text called bike, I'm getting yes. If else, in this, if else is I'm getting as no, because in this particular, let's say this text string doesn't have, contain the word bike, so I'm getting no. So this is how we can use the search function. And also I try to explain the main difference between the find and the search function. Hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you do not like this for some reason, just leave a constructive comment so that I can improve on my upcoming videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.